So, how are you feeling overall? Anything I should be concerned about? Um, I, uh, I haven't been sleeping well lately, and uh, I'm foggy, and I, I can't get my thoughts straight. Okay. Well, we can look into that, maybe run some tests. Go need some tests to tell you that she's mental. Make sure to write down that she's delusional, too. It's completely unpredictable. Last thing. Could you lift up your sleeve? So is she dying or what? No. Elle's blood pressure is just a little bit higher than I'm comfortable with. How long is this all going to take then, huh? I don't got all day. I, I've got somewhere I gotta be. But, um, I can stay as long as you need me to. I'm... Um... I'm sure it's fine. We're done here. I'll see you in a year. Great. A clean bill of health with an out-of-pocket expense. Let's go. Get up. to tell you that there was nothing wrong with you. I could have told you to your face that it was stupid. Stop, you're hurting me. Good, but you actually have a problem the doc can treat you for. Let's take the stairs, use the exercise. Dr. Angela Gray? Yes? What can I do for you, Officer Carter? Is she one of your patients? Uh, no, she's not. The name L. Taylor doesn't ring a bell? Uh, well, I think I would remember. Why? Did, did something happen to her? See, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Her parents called in for a wellness check. They haven't seen her in a couple of weeks, and they're worried about her well-being. I see. We attempted to contact her by visiting her house, but we found no evidence of significance when we went there and she wasn't home. The only thing we found was your name on her calendar. Is that so? Take another look. Maybe it'll jog your memory. You know... I can't help you. I'm sorry. I, I really don't recognize her at all. If you'll excuse me, I really need to get ready for my next patient. Officer Carter, this is Officer Beale requesting immediate backup. What's your 20? I'm in foot pursuit of a Caucasian female, late 20s, pink hooded sweatshirt, head is east on the 100 block of Franklin, suspected of assault and battery. Copy that. On my way. This office is on the 100 block of Franklin. Stay here.
that my girlfriend in hell threw me over the rail in a fit of rage, you're going to back me up. I can't do that. You will do that. You're going to tell them that Ella's psychotic, that it was only a matter of time before an incident like this happened, and that you warned me. But I didn't listen, because I love her. I love her, and I would do anything for her. But that's not true. You're not exactly the best person at telling the truth, are you, Doc? <sighs> Otherwise, we probably wouldn't be in this situation right now, would we? So, clear? We're clear. Taylor, you're under arrest for suspicion of domestic assault and evading an officer. Please, I... I was just trying to get away from him. By pushing him down a set of stairs? Dr. Gray reported that he nearly died. You know, a lot of people were worried about you. Imagine their disappointment when they find out that he's the real victim and uh, not you. No, oh, please. You don't understand. You don't know what he's like. Or what he does to me. He did this to you? And this too. And other things. Officer Beale, this is Officer Carter. The suspect has been detained. Tell all other units to stand down. Please. I'm just afraid of what he'll do to me after this. Unless you have proof that you're in danger, it's his word against yours. I have proof. What is it? An eyewitness account of the incident. The doc saw everything. Is that true? Yeah. And if I'd come forward sooner, Maybe I could have prevented some of this. Yeah, Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. How could you have possibly known what Al was capable of? You're right, Greg. But everyone will know what you're capable of. What? Who is this? Oh, Doc, you're hurting me. Good. No, you actually have a reason the Doc can see you for. You set me up. You'll regret this. You suck. Hey! hey! That's enough. Hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Hey! Stop! Get down! Stop! I am so sorry, Al. I never should have ignored your cries for help. It's okay. You answered eventually, and that's all that matters now. Somewhere along the way, I just forgot that I need to treat more than what's going on in the inside of my patients. I need to listen. Really hear about what they're going through, too. I won't forget again, I promise. Loved our video? Click here to watch the next one. If you enjoy our content, hit the subscribe button and join us on our journey to 500,000 subscribers. Also, don't forget to tell us what you thought of the video by commenting below.